Hello everyone, today our topic is how to add telegram channel messages in Notion database. So here my objective is that whenever I receive a new message in my telegram channel, then automatically I want to add these message details in my Notion database. So for that, I have to build a connection between telegram and Notion. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I'm going to use trigger and action. In trigger application, I'm going to use telegram, in action application, I'm going to use Notion. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can add messages from Telegram to Notion. So here my objective is that whenever I get a new message in my Telegram channel, then automatically I want to add this message to my Notion database with the details. So for this, I have to build a connection between Telegram and Notion. So here I will create a Telegram Notion integration that too without any coding and programming skills. So for that, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundred of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I'm going to click here on access now button under Pabli Connect and it will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to add telegram channel messages in Notion database. And I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to select home here and I will click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we need to set up our trigger first. And here my trigger application will be telegram bot. So I'm going to select telegram bot here. And now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and set webhook slash watch updates will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to connect Telegram bot with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And to connect Telegram bot, what I need is I need a token. So for that, I have to create a new bot in Telegram. And for creating a bot, I have to go to Telegram. And here I'm going to use bot father. And you can search for bot father to create a new bot and to generate a token. Now here in bot father, I'm going to open this menu. And I'm going to create a new bot for that. I have to select this option of slash new bot. And here first I have to give a name to my bot. So my bot name will be Pabli Connect 461. And I'm going to send this. Now I have to give a username. And before giving the username, I have to keep one thing in my mind that my username should always end with underscore bot. So my username will be Pabli Connect 461 underscore bot. So I'm going to send this. And it has generated this token for me. So I'm going to copy this token and I'm going to start my bot. So I'll click here on this link, which will take me to my bot. And I'm going to click on start. And now I will go back to Pabli Connect. And I'm going to paste my token here. And I will click on save. And I have connected Telegram bot with Pabli Connect. Now what I need to do is, I need to create a new channel where I can add the people whom I want to send the messages or where I can get the messages from. So I have to go back to Telegram. And for creating a new channel, I have to click here on this pencil icon and I will click on new channel. And here first I have to name my channel. So I'm going to name it as Telegram Notion Integration and I'm going to click on next. And now I have to add new members. And in this channel, you can add any members that you want or you also have to add the bot that you have just created. So for adding the member, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mobile phone on which I'm going to use my Telegram app. And in my Telegram app, I'm going to open this Telegram channel and I'm going to add my member and I'm going to add my bot in that. And one thing that I have to make sure that I'm adding my bot and I'm promoting that bot as an admin. So I'm going to do that with my mobile phone. 
Now I'm going to refresh this and I'm going to show you my channel. So I'm going to open this and here on my channel, I have these two members and I have my bot and I have promoted my bot as an admin. Now I will go back. Now this is my telegram channel. Now we'll go back to public connect and I'm going to click on save and sanitize to click button and here it is waiting for response. So for getting this response, I have to send a new message on my telegram channel. So let me take you back to telegram and this is my telegram channel. So I'm going to send a new message here. So my message will be hello. This is for testing only and I'm going to send this message. So here I have this new message on my telegram channel. Now we'll go back to public connect and here we can see we have received this new response. So here I have this channel post text and this is my message which says hello. This is for testing only and we have this update ID and this is my chat ID and here we have this channel name which is telegram notion integration. Now I have all these details of my message. Now what I need is I need to add these details in notion database. So for that I have to set up my actions tab. So I'm going to open this tab and here my action application will be notion. So I'm going to select notion here and I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and create database item will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect notion with public connect. So I'll click here on connect and I will click on add new connection and I will click on connect with notion here. I have already logged into my notion account in the browser. So it has detected that. So I just need to click here on the select pages option and here I'm going to select all the pages. So I will click here on allow access and I have successfully connected notion with Pabli connect. Now I have to give the name of my database and for this I have to go to notion. And here we are using this telegram notion integration table and we have this database which is telegram messages. So I'm going to map these details in public connect. So let's go back to public connect. So here for selecting the database, you have to open this tab and in this tab, you will find all the databases that you have connected with your notion account. So I'm going to select this database, which is named as telegram messages. And now I have to give a message content. So here I'm going to map the content of the message that I have received from telegram. So I'm going to use mapping here and what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tab and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I'm going to click here. I will open this response of telegram bot and this is the content of my message. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to give a chat ID. So again, I'm going to map my chat ID. So I'll click here. I will open this response of telegram bot and this is my chat ID. So I'm going to select this. And I have to give a channel name. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of telegram bot. And here we have this channel name, which is telegram notion integration. So I'm going to map this. Now we have the content and this is a hidden tab that we have in notion. And if you want to fill these details, you can do that and you can fill any content in this tab, but I'm going to leave this blank. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send touch request button. And here we have the response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have added these details automatically in my notion database. Now to check this, let's go to notion and here we can see I have added this new row in my table. So the, my message content is hello. This is for testing only. And we have this chat ID and we have this channel name, which is named as telegram notion integration. So these are the same details of the message that I have sent on my telegram channel and I have added these details automatically in my notion database. So my integration between telegram and notion is working successfully. Now let's see this in real time. So I will go back to my telegram channel and here I'm going to send another message. So my message will be, this is to check real time example and I'm going to send this message. And now I will go back to notion and here we can see I have automatically added this new row. So my message content is this is to check real time example. We have this new chat ID which is the same channel name, which is named as telegram notion integration. So what I have done here is that whenever I'm getting a new message on my telegram channel, then automatically I'm adding all those details of the message in my notion database. Now I will go back to public connect and here we have built this connection between telegram bot and notion in such a way that whenever I'm getting a new message on my telegram channel, then automatically I'm adding those message details in my notion database. Now let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was telegram bot and my trigger event was set web slash watch updates. Then I have set up my action tab and my action application was notion and my action event was create database item. 
So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.